Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about using switch statements in Java. Now, a switch statement is basically just a special type of if statement. So a switch statement can allow us to make decisions in our Java project. But a switch statement is used in a very special situation. It's used when you're trying to compare one value to a bunch of other values. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about you know, what switch statements are and in what situations you want to use them. I want to create a method and inside of this method, I basically want it to be able to take a number as an input. So I want this method to be able to be passed a number and I want it to convert that number into a day of the week. So over here in this text file, I have basically these different mappings. So I have the number zero would get mapped to Sunday. The number one gets mapped to Monday. Number two gets mapped to Tuesday, etc. So I want this method to be able to take in a number and depending on what that number is, I want it to be able to spit out, you know, either Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Basically this method will convert a number into a day of the week. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to come down here below this public method. I'm going to create my new method. So we're just going to call it public static. And I want this method to return a string, right? So it's going to take a number as input and it's going to return a string. So I'm just going to say string and we're just going to call this get day name. And inside of here, we'll just pass in a parameter. So it's going to take one parameter, which is going to be an integer and we'll call this day num. So this is going to be like the number of the day. Now in here, basically we want to convert the day num into a day string. So I'm actually going to create a string here and we'll just call this day name. And this will just be like the name of the day. And initially we'll just set it equal to the empty string. And then the last thing we're going to want to do in this function is just return the day name. So I'm just going to set up the basic skeleton. Now inside of this method, we need to convert the number into the day name, right? I need to be able to do that conversion. Now, one way that we could do that would be using an if statement. So if I wanted to, I could just come over here and I'll just say if, and I could check to see if day num is equal to zero. And if day num is equal to zero, then we can just set day name equal to Monday. Awesome. And then I can come over here and I can say else if day num is equal to one. Okay, now we'll just come and say day name is equal to Tuesday. Here's the problem though. This is kind of a drag, right? Having to create else ifs for each one of these conditions is actually like really, really annoying. And in our case, we have to do this seven different times. So I'm going to have to create seven of these different if structures in order to figure out what day it is. And this is a situation where I'm literally comparing the same variable to a different number, right? So in every single one of these situations, I'm comparing day num equal to a different number. And this is a situation where we can actually use a switch statement. So a switch statement is essentially an if statement, but it allows us to compare a single value to a bunch of different values really, really easily. And remember, that's the situation that we're in. We have one value, day num, and we're trying to compare it to a bunch of different values, namely zero through six. So we can use a switch statement in order to make that way easier. So in order to create a switch statement, I'm just going to come down here and get rid of this if statement. And we're actually just going to say switch and we're going to make an open and close parentheses and then we're going to make an open and closed curly bracket. So inside of this parentheses, we want to put in the value that we want to compare. So we're going to put day num inside of here because we want to compare day num to like a bunch of different values, right? And so that's the variable that we want to put in there. And now inside of this switch statement, we can actually start checking different conditions. So I can say case, and then after I put case here, I just want to put what I want to compare this to. So I could say case zero, and then I can use a colon and I'll make a new line. And down here, I can actually put what I want to happen. So I can say day name is equal to Sunday. And actually this might be a little bit easier to read if I put this up on the same line. So basically what I'm saying is 
in the case that day num is equal to zero, I want to set day name equal to Sunday. And then what I need to do is include a what's called a break statement. So I'm just going to say break and a semicolon. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell the switch statement that we're done. So since we were able to match up the number with the day num, now we're just going to break out of the switch statement because we don't need it anymore. So once again, this is saying that in the case that day num is equal to zero, we want to set day name equal to Sunday. So what I can do now is I can just copy this guy and we can basically just paste it down here a bunch of times. So I can paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. So I'm pasting it seven times and obviously we can format this a little bit better. It's kind of messy. But what I can do now is I can go through and assign all of these cases different values. So I could come down here and say case one. I want to set day name equal to Monday. Case two, I want to set day name equal to Tuesday. Case three is going to be Wednesday, etc. So you get the point. I'm basically checking each one of these cases individually. So I'm gonna go off and do the rest of these and then we'll come back and take a look at how it looks. Okay, so I went ahead and created a case for all the possibilities. So case zero all the way through case six and it's mapping a day name to a day of the week in each case. And so now we should have a fully functional switch statement. So if the user enters in a number between zero and six, we'll be able to handle it. But there's also the situation where the user enters in a number that's not zero through six. So if they enter in any other number, we're actually gonna wanna throw an error. So what I'm gonna do down here is I can just say default, and this is gonna be like the default statement. So if none of the cases up here are true, then we're gonna run the code that's inside of here. So I can just say day name is equal to invalid day number. So I'm just basically throwing like an error message. And then again, we can just put a break statement. So this default is used when none of the cases up here are true. So you can see I just passed in invalid day number. All right, so now we have this get day name method basically set up. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna head up here to my main function or my main method and I can just basically try this out. So I'm gonna print out the result. So we'll just print this out to the screen and I'm just gonna call this method. So I'll say get day name and we'll pass in a zero. So what we should get is Monday getting printed out and I'll run this code or Sunday. Yeah, so over here, Sunday prints out because Sunday is the first day of the week. I could say like a four and now that's gonna print out Thursday. I could say a six, this should print out Saturday. So our method's working, right? I'm able to convert a number into a string. And if I was gonna enter in like 60, so an invalid number, that default statement will run and it'll tell us that it's an invalid number. So you wanna use a switch statement in a situation where you're comparing the same value to a bunch of different values. So this is a perfect case, right? We're comparing this day name to just a bunch of different values like zero, one, or two. And that's the situation where switch statements can come in handy. And you can see like this switch statement is it's really clean, it's really obvious what's happening and just makes it easy for us to use a bunch of conditions. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.